We have to know noises before we value silence. We have to live through darkness before we can enjoy the light. We have to suffer the pain to know true bliss. November is a month that reminds us of the endings in our life. Summer is now over and death silently lays its coat over nature, preparing it for its rebirth. We start to miss what we just had. Warmth, green, the sun, the long light of summer days. And because it is over, we learn to value it. Everything that happened in November made me more aware of this contrast in life and how we start to miss something as soon as it's gone. But when we had it, did we even know we had it? Did we value it? It was my last month as a self-employed free woman. This is also one of the things I will surely miss in December, but let's start with where we ended. First off, after we came back from our trip to Sweden, we used our motivation to sort out everything we won't need when we finally move to our dream life next year. There were a lot of goodbyes. I didn't expect to be there, at least not already now. But when then? <laughs> Basically, I said goodbye to a life I will never have again this way. And sorting out clothes was just the start of it. So this was a first big step. It's done now. Our clothings and a lot of old things <laughs> are gone. And most of it will go to like charity. And the other parts will be thrown away because it's too old nobody wants to wear it the hardest part for me was throwing away my gothic stuff it was like my whole identity since i was 12 <laughs> and i've been collecting all the stuff since i was able to buy my own clothes and things so this was a bit tough but i did it because i don't see myself walking around in gothic clothes in sweden so now it's gone and i will be I will sell most of it and now I got hit by a huge migraine so I will get some sleep now get some rest and let's see when we'll do the next things the next weekend we tried to get an overview over all our books we had collected during our life so far it was a lot And we started with some smaller renovations in our flat, or at least we tried. Luckily, we could sell most of the books to an online second-hand bookstore. We've sent them more than 40 books all at once and this was a big relief. At the 31st of October, just in time for Sauwin, a friend came to visit us and we celebrated together with some really good food. 
I baked red beet bread and some pumpkin buns. And of course, we also had pumpkin soup and some meat. Following the Samhain tradition, we set an empty plate on the table, a quiet invitation for the spirits we wish to have around us. The next day we enjoyed the cold air, silence and beautiful colors of autumn. And just like that, it was time for me to pack my bags again. I took my last break from everything for a probably very long time before my life changes with a new job in December and also will be deep in the preparations for moving in the next few months. So I decided to visit my very good friend I have known since school. Paul lives in Barcelona and invited me to stay with him for a few days. So my plane started at 6 in the morning on Wednesday. Witnessing the sunrise from a plane lent the beginning of my adventure a truly magical touch. From the moment on I arrived at Paul's place, time seemed to lose its grip. We did whatever we felt like doing. He showed me many different parts of the city and I felt how my brain got filled up with every new corner of the city. The noises, the amount of humans, the smells, the lights. The disconnection, even though there are so many of us. The constant fear of being hit by a car or a bicycle. A strong contrast to the serenity of northern Sweden, where I had been just three weeks prior. <laughs> So after three days of exploring city life by walking and by bike, we took the train to Tarragona, a smaller city on the coastline of Spain. A good friend joined us and we had the best time there. This felt like my brain and my soul took a massive exhale. The day was a masterpiece. The colors, the dogs, the sun, the air. Everything was on point and just contributed to a real brain refresh. <laughs> And just like this, just one day later, we ended up in a small chocolateria had our last meal together, churros with chocolate, and then I hurried back to my plane. 
Barcelona's vibe. The people, the beach, the food. It all went by in a flash. When I arrived back home, I started to value the silence around me. After five days of constant input, I was so immensely grateful for hearing nothing, literally nothing. I never found my little village near Berlin to be really silent. I always felt it was still too loud for me. But these next few days were a true blessing. I had to endure the noises of a big city to find the beauty in my everyday life again. What I also have been longing for were my women's cycles. So I just drove home from my women's cycle, the first one I attended since before we went to Sweden. And I thought I just, um, yeah, put this into the vlog and tell you how it was because um, I think I'm going to make a YouTube video about women's cycles and why I think this is so important <laughs> to have one. I feel so seen, I feel so loved, I feel so good, even though it's pretty late right now and I had a long day, I feel energized because This is a safe space where you can just recharge yourself, where you are part of a group full of love and just, um, yeah, you can just be. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to everything that's going to happen the next few days. I don't know how these are going to turn out. But I know that I have worked a lot in the last few weeks and that I have experienced a lot. And I was so looking forward to this meeting because I know that this is just a safe space. So, yeah, uh, I'm super happy. I'm so super happy. And I never talked about how I feel after these women's cycles, like publicly, just to friends. So now i'm sharing this and um, i really hope that this topic is going to be part of my youtube channel more often because i love it with all my heart <laughs> so this goes out to all the women out there you are so beautiful and you are so seen and so loved and i am so grateful to be part of such a circle so yeah That's all for tonight. Let's see what the next days will bring. Thank you so much. November really had some big life lessons for me and I am beyond grateful for all those wonderful experiences I have made. I have learned so much, discovered new boundaries for myself, explored the world a little more and found serenity and peace in my daily life again. Thank you so much November for bringing this contrast and validation of taken for granted things back to me. And thank you, my dear, so much for watching. I invite you to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on what life offers to me and how I choose to handle it. I'd love to take you with me on this journey. Thank you so much. <laughs>